Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In this video, we will explore into the concept of time dilation and how it relates with the Bible. One of the consequences of Einstein's theory of special relativity is the concept of time dilation. In 1905, Albert Einstein published his special theory of relativity, which considered time not as a single flowing entity but as a part of a much more complex system linked with space itself called space-time. Because space and time are part of the same entity, it is impossible to move in space without moving in time. Now, what is time dilation? Time dilation is a slowing down of moving clocks. Time dilation means moving clocks run slow. Time dilation means that time starts to slow down when we approach speeds closer to the speed of light. Suppose a person travels in a spacecraft at a velocity close to the velocity of light and returns back to Earth. That person would have spent a much lesser time compared to the actual time that has passed by in a stationary clock in the Earth. In other words, a clock on a moving ship will, spaceship will run slowly compared to a stationary clock outside it. This is true in the case of pendulums, atomic clocks and digital clocks. The slowing down of time in clocks at high speeds is called time dilation and has a precise mathematical relationship. Now let's look at the time dilation equation. T dash is equal to T into root of 1 minus V square by C square where T dash is the dilated time t the stationary time, v the velocity of the object and c the speed of light. In the Bible, time dilation is there in 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 8. It says, but beloved, do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord one day is as thousand years and a thousand years as one day. Here the stationary time t is taken as thousand years which is equal to 3,65,000 days and the dilated time t dash is equal to 1 day. If we substitute the stationary time and the dilated time t dash in the time dilation equation, we get t dash is equal to t into root of 1 minus v square by c square. 1 is equal to 3,65,000 into root of 1 minus v square by 3 into 10 to the power 8 the whole square. Dividing that 1 by 3,65,000, we get 2.739 into 10 to the power minus 6 is equal to root of 1 minus v square by 3 into 10 to the power 8. Squaring on both sides, to get rid of the square root, we get 7.506 into 10 to the power minus 12 is equal to 1 minus v square by 3 into 10 to the power 8, the whole square. 7.506 into 10 to the power minus 12 is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8, the whole square, minus v square by 3 into 10 to the power 8, the whole square. Taking the denominator to the left hand side, we get 6,75,540 equal to 9 into 10 to the power 16 minus v square. Rearranging the equation, we get v square is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 16 minus 6,75,540. Therefore, v square, get, we get 8,999,999,999. 9993244460. Taking the square root, we get v is equal to 299999999 meters a second, which is 99.9999933 percentage the velocity of light, which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. So the velocity that God is talking when He says a thousand years is like one day is indeed the velocity of light. Thus the phrase a thousand years is like one day in the Bible actually talks about time dilation. Isn't it so amazing that the numbers written in the Bible thousands of years ago passes the test of scientific scrutiny today. The Bible is supernatural. Praise God for His word.